first and foremost, could you think of a nicer environment for these pets? I'll play. What are you doing? Whoa, wait. Oyster Bay Town Supervisor John Vendido was rudely interrupted during his speech at the opening of the town's brand new dog park. These spunky canines were clearly eager to get their play on, but the supervisor did get the chance to give dog owners this simple message. This park is a good thing that can happen to all residents along with their pets when residents care and when government responds. I think that this dog park is beautiful. As you can see by looking around that the dogs are having a fabulous time. When the town decided to put a dog park together, they did a lot of research and this is the result and they did a fabulous, fabulous job. Peggy Hickey Heyman of the Long Island Dog Owners Group summed up the general sentiment among residents here at the park today. They are grateful for this two acre dog run, complete with doggy water fountains, even a fire hydrant or two. While dogs sniffed each other out, owners appreciated their surroundings. Tell us a little bit about what you and Riley think of the park so far. We absolutely love it. It's just shade, it's just nice and big. It's a dog heaven. It's a dog heaven. The park did seem to be a heavenly location for everyone from the beagles to the bulldogs, and their owners were just as happy to have a spot for their adventurous, curious, and slightly slobbery pets to play. They're important because they bring a community together and they really give our dogs somewhere to go. There's not a lot of parks in Nassau or Suffolk County that cater to dogs and allow dogs. So to have their own little place to play and have fun is, is really great. Caesar, what are your thoughts? Yeah, nice sniff, wet sniff there. We've been looking for a dog park for a long time and this is nice. It's nice and local and uh, we'll get a lot of use out of it. One of the really nice things about this park is that it is the first in the town of Oyster Bay, which is great for me because I happen to live in the town of Oyster Bay with my six-year-old Dachshund Brando. This park comprises over two acres, and it's split into small dog run and large dog run. So Brando and I are going to check out the small dog run. Let's see what he thinks. Go on, boy. Go. Go. Go, go, go. Go. Okay, he's making a friend. Friend request denied. Though Brando needed a little warming up, other dogs were most definitely not as shy. Take a look at little Zahi, the English bulldog who insisted on being the star of the show. All right, we just had an invader on our interview. Uh, he just ruined the whole thing, basically. Hello. So we're going to do it. Take two. And so you socialize with other animals. What has been your f Who is this? <laughs> this is the second time you have messed up our show. Thank you. Why do you think it's so important for you know, dogs to have places like this to come? I think it's important for the dogs to socialize. This way they're more well-behaved dogs and they're a better part of society once they socialize with other animals. It's good when they get a workout and then they can just kind of relax and um, you can too. Dogs like to socialize and they like to play and so do people. And on Long Island it's been a challenge to go to a park and enjoy the outdoors. This is a beautiful park setting and you can socialize with people who are in the same mind frame that you're in and with dogs and everybody's having fun and having a good time.